you'll always enter the course on the start page here. The start page includes the syllabus as well as a lesson plan example. You can download a lesson plan example, an example exemplar from a teacher, and any other supporting documents for this particular plan. Or you could choose to analyze the 5e lesson plan model and draft your model similar. If you click on any of these blue terms here, then it'll download a document to your downloads folder and you can open that document. Next, to navigate, if you simply click on one of these titles over here, you will move throughout the course. If you choose workshop materials, this is where a majority of the stuff is located within this course. I have the workshop materials located in individual folders. The most recent workshop will be organized at the top of the screen and older workshops will be populated farther down. You can click on the title of the workshop to see more materials within this. Let's go ahead and get into the folder here by clicking the title of the folder. Here we see the iMovie vocabulary sheet. You can just simply click on this Word document here and you'll get the same vocabulary sheet that I passed out in class. There's also uh, a couple of quick digital storytelling examples I demonstrated in class. Click the play button and you can watch it through YouTube. And here's a website that I uh, mentioned in class from the University of Houston. If you click the title, it'll take you to that website. Finally, teachers can uh, upload their work right here by clicking on the title of each of these. First, if you're ready to upload an exemplar, in this particular workshop, a teacher would make a movie to show to their students as an exemplar or to use as a hook in front of the class. And the movie could be saved as a M4V file or an MOV file and uploaded using the Browse My Computer. If you click this, you can search your computer for different files and just attach it just like you were doing in an email. If, for instance, you posted your exemplar on YouTube and you just wanted to uh, include the URL address, you could simply type that in right here and then post it and I would be able to follow the URL address, the website address uh, from your submission. Once you have your work provided there, simply choose submit in the bottom right corner and you'll receive a time and date stamp as a confirmation. You'll see that you should see a green bar here that says it's been complete. <clears throat> and it tells you your submission history, letting you know when you submitted it, and so forth. Finally, just hit OK. If you needed to, you could submit a second time. If you forgot something, I would receive both submissions. One last little uh, tidbit here. We can always navigate between screens by using these buttons on the left here. If you wanted to go back and see the syllabus, you could go back to the start page. You can view the calendar of when the due dates, when the assignments are due, and so forth. And another way that you can navigate around is that you can um, use these breadcrumbs that appear up here. This shows you all the folders and subfolders that you've traveled through. So if you move back and click here, it'll take you back one level and you could then navigate into the web 2.0 workshop. So again, there's two ways to navigate. One, using your breadcrumbs. As you get deeper and deeper, you'll see more of them appear and you can back out one or two at a time. Or you can start um, into each area of the course by just clicking on the folders on the left. Once you've uploaded your work, then you're good to go and you can simply log out with this button over here on the right. And one last thing here, the next time you want to log back into the course, 
you can simply do so by doing a Google search for course sites. And then click this one. The address is www.coursites.com. You might want to bookmark this for your convenience. Simply choose login and re enter the credentials you did before. This time when you log in, you'll see a list of all the different classes you may be enrolled in. If you're only enrolled in one class, you should only see one appear here. But you can be enrolled in unlimited number of courses here. And simply by clicking there, you'll get back to the start page. Well, thanks again for your attendance here, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next workshop. Have a great day.